Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. In today's video we're going to be doing my 23 week pregnancy update and I know I have a lot of new subscribers out there so I just wanted to go ahead and thank you guys so much for joining the family and from the bottom of my heart it really means the world to me just for all of your love and support and for those of you asking, Garrick and I are not finding out the gender of this baby. We are super excited. So I just wanted to clarify that. I got a lot of questions on if I'm having a boy or a girl or when I'm finding out. So we will not be finding out until birth. <laughs> it is a long wait, but I think there's not that many surprises that great left in life. So we're super excited. But anyways, let's go ahead and jump into this pregnancy update. Um, and I have had new cravings. I said this in my previous updates that I'm having different cravings pretty much every week and I'll stick to it for like a week or two and then I'll go on to the next thing. But right now it's Rice Krispie Treats. I love Rice Krispie Treats so much and anything cake like those little Debbie cakes or just anything with cake. I have a sweet tooth right now and I've had a sweet tooth for the longest time. I just can't kick it. I think my belly button is officially an Audi now um, and I've just been super, super, super exhausted lately. Like walking for long periods of time, I just have the urge to just sit down. Garrick and I were shopping for Wilder's birthday party coming up and I could not walk through the stores like I had to take a break to sit down and I'm like oh my gosh it's gotten to that point here we go update it feels like there's literally a bowling ball just sitting there and it's the craziest feeling ever I never experienced this with Wilder so this is completely new for me I texted my friend yesterday and I was like is this normal like did your vaginal area hurt whenever you were pregnant she's like yeah that happens to me all the time so at least I'm not alone if any of you guys if this happened to you comment below and let me know but yeah, it is definitely super crazy because I never experience this and it's especially whenever I get up out of bed or just get up from sitting down. It's just a lot of weight right there. I've looked it up and so many people say so many different things about that. Like the baby is dropping, it could be this, it could be that. So I have an appointment coming up and I'm just going to ask my doctor and I will update you guys. I will have to say not finding out the gender really does make you save money because you know, if I had a boy or if I had a girl, I would be going out and buying, you know, boy stuff, girl stuff, whatever. So many people are asking me, like, well, what if you have a boy? What if you have a girl? Like, what are you going to do? We bought a few gender neutral things, but um, yeah, so many people ask me that and I'm just like, Garrick and I plan to put some money aside so whenever the baby is born, whether or not it's a boy or a girl, we can go out and buy them that gender of clothing or whatever. Um, but we are definitely in trouble if it's a girl because we don't have much girly things in the house. Um, but if we do have a boy, you know, Wilder has all of his clothes still. So we'll be good if it's a boy, but if it's a girl, we're going to have to go shopping. Because I'm definitely going to want to get all the, you know, really girly things, the big bows, the cute outfits. All of the girly clothes are just so freaking cute and... They just need to step up the boy game. They really do. But we still do think that it is going to be a boy. Garrick and I just have this feeling that it's going to be a boy. And we really need to do the ring test. So many people have told me, like, do the ring test. And I think we're going to. Um, I don't really know how to do it, so I'll have to research it. But if you guys want to see a video on that, also comment below. I think that would be really fun. But I am a pretty superstitious person and so is Garrick, so that will be kind of interesting to see um, what it says. As far as skin, my skin is not doing so hot. It's still breaking out a lot and I, I don't know what to do at this point. If any of you guys have suggestions, let me know, but I need to find some kind of different face routine or something. I know it's hormonal, but it's still it's driving me nuts. I definitely don't have that pregnancy glow. I will say my hair is growing 
really, really fast. I need to get a haircut so bad. I want to get like a mom cut. I don't know. What do you guys think? Wilder just pulls on it so much and it's just become such a hassle to deal with. I need to get a trim for sure, but my hair is growing like crazy. My nails suck. <laughs> my eyelashes, like I said, are still falling out. I barely have any lashes. I need to go get some false lashes because I just ran out. But my hair is growing, so that's good. The main thing in this week is my stomach just feels super heavy and really low and like my vaginal area just kind of hurts and feels like there's a bowling ball still there. For those of you wondering, I do do my preg I do do <laughs> I do my pregnancy updates a week late. And the reason for that is I just kind of want to see everything that's happened in that week rather than starting at week 23 and filming that day and, um, you know, telling you guys what has happened in the previous week. It just makes more sense to me in my head to wait until that week is done. So say, you know, week 23 is over with, then I'll film when it's over with. So technically I'm 24 weeks. But I like to just tell you guys everything that's happened in that week. And for me, whenever I look back, I'm going to know, you know, what week I was and what all happened in that week. So it just makes better sense to me in my head. And I'm sorry if that confuses you guys. But that's the way that I've been doing it because it just feels better, I guess. This baby is kicking like crazy. What are you doing in there? What are you doing? It's so surreal that feeling of kicking. I'm just, I'm going to miss this so much. I am still nesting and for those of you that watch my pregnancy updates know that this has been going on for a while now and I really don't think that it's ever going to go away at this point. I really want to get the baby's nursery done. I know he or she won't be in their own room for the first few months. Um, we plan on keeping him or her in our room, but I just want to have it done just to have it done and over with and right now the baby's room is kind of like a baby storage area like everything that we've gotten for the baby we just kind of put in there just randomly and I just want to kind of have it all together and put together so we need to get on that and also we're going to be changing our room into kind of like a baby nursery um, just to make everything a lot more easy and accessible so we're going to have like a changing table in there maybe a rocking chair in there and you know, all the baby necessities. So if you guys want to see a video of us transforming our room into kind of a baby nursery, let me know, comment below, and I would be happy to do that for you guys. Another thing this week is I've been so extremely hot, and I do live in Florida, so right now it is really hot, but I normally don't sweat during the night, and I've just been waking up sweating. Like the other night, Garrick was like, oh my gosh, babe, and was like patting me dry. I don't know what it is. I've just been so hot and bothered lately. I don't know if that's hormonal or what. For those of you wondering my uploading schedule, I do post Monday, Wednesday, and Friday, but I also like to post random days throughout the week as well, but definitely Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. I just like to post as much as I can on those other days, so be on the lookout for those videos. Okay guys, that is all for my 23 week update. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up, subscribe, and don't forget to turn your notification bell on so you don't miss any of my upcoming videos, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.